12. And his tag team partner from the Northwoods, Big John. We'll kick it off with tag team action here on WCW Saturday night. And again, we hope you're having a wonderful 4th of July holiday. It's a packed house here in the center stage. And referee Mike Atkins calls for the bell. It's going to be Greg the Hammer Valentine starting out with Big Josh. Ron, this should be a very interesting tag team event. Slater and Valentine have a lot of individual experience. And I, I would think that perhaps would give them the advantage in this contest. Well, there's no question about it. You got to give the advantage to them when it comes to experience. But now Josh, Big Josh is a tough customer. He's been around, and Marcus Bagwell, you know, is an up-and-coming star. He's got a lot of fire in him. If anything, I think this is going to be a, a learned experience for both of them. Colin elbow tie-up, and Big Josh using his strength to power Valentine into the corner. Fans, as we mentioned, we're extremely excited about the Georgia Power Safety Night tomorrow night in the Omni. We'll be telling you more about that in the hour. And Valentine... Going to work on the leg of Big Josh Valentine, a master of the figure four leg lock. They seem to be ignoring the rules right here, too, also, Jim. Irish whip reverse to the center of the ropes. They go left to right. Big Josh, last counter move, hip lock takeover. Scoops up Greg the Hammer Valentine. Big Josh with a lot of power strength in the early going. Here comes yeah. Slater. And he is slammed for his trouble as well. That's what it's going to take. you got to stay on top of him, brother, because once, believe me, they get him down, it's going to be another thing, I can tell you. Slater, a very tough veteran from Florida, teaming for the first time here on WCW Saturday night with Valentine. Well, with Josh and uh, Valentine has to be a, Josh and uh, Bagwell have to be cautious of is get, letting Greg get him down and let him get that figure four hooked in because believe me, that's nothing to be on the other end of, I can tell you. Valentine with the elbow and follows with the scoop slam. And tags in the KG veteran from Florida, Dick Slater. And Slater falls perhaps too long there for the elbow. Side headlock, and Big Josh makes the exchange with Marcus Alexander Bagwell, the youngster from Marietta, Georgia. As Ron Simmons pointed out, has got a great deal of fire and enthusiasm. Waistlock takedown, and Slater rolled him over for a near fall. Well, you can see where the experience comes in right there. You know? Bagwell holding on to the side headlock. This kid has really been in there with some of the toughest in the game. Irish whip, Slater missed that elbow, and Bagwell comes back. Left scoop slam. Again, a side headlock, takedown this time. And again, it's Slater trying to negotiate into a pin, rolling Bagwell on his shoulders. It's a good move on Bagwell part, going right back to that part of the body that he's been working. Fans, as we mentioned in the hour, you're also going to see Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, Brad Armstrong is here. Beautiful Bobby Eaton takes on the Z-Man. It's a great broadcast, we're happy you're with us. Snap mare takeover. And Slater measuring the youngster. Bagwell, and about 20 years of age. I'm sure he watched right here on TBS. He was a big fan all his life, as many of us were. Watched Slater compete here on TBS over the years. Good counter move by Slater. Well, he might be 20 years in age, but he'll age a little bit when, it, when he gets out of that ring and wrestling knowledge, I can assure you. But he's in there now with two KG veterans, as you can see. Slater with a single leg pickup and a and a cover there. Bagwell tried to go for the side headlock takeover, but Slater, with a good veteran move, Ron blocked it. Well, Slater, like I said, Jim, and like you commented on earlier, hey, he's been around, you know, he, he has knowledge of the ring. Hey, I mean, what can you say? You know, I mean, he ignores the rules sometimes, but you got to give the man his due, you know. He knows what he's doing when he's in the ring. Fans, we also have a major announcement from Cowboy Bill Watson this hour as Valentine comes back with those chops. A lot of impact on those blows to the chest of Bagwell. Irish whip. And Bagwell showing good, good quickness. Valentine held on, and Bagwell head slammed off the uh, canvas there. It could be in a bit of trouble here, Jim, unless he can count it. There you go, right there. Yeah, good move on his part. Good counter move. Both fires are hooked. Near fall and another tag. And look at Valentine keeping Bagwell. And uh, Valentine and Slater's part of the ring. Referee's got to put Big Josh out. Well, you can see what experience comes in. Once they get a man down, and you got these two guys tagging up, believe me, they know the in and outs of tag team action. Drop toe hold. Slater using it as a takedown. Now working on the legs of Bagwell. And uh, Slater with a variety of technique to work on the legs. And as Ron Simmons mentioned, 
It could be a, a weakening process on Bagwell's leg to set him up. Yeah, this, is, what, this is definitely what he didn't want to happen, to start working on that leg. At all costs, he should have watched all the moves that Valentine and uh, Slater were trying to do and avoid everything from them letting them get to work on their leg. Believe me, he don't want to get Valentine and get bigger for a locked on him because that is nothing to get into. That That is one of the most painful holes that you can have put on you. Believe me, I had to put on me before I know. Valentine pulling the hamstring, trying to weaken the legs, trying to turn him there. Bagwell trying to fight away from it. Look at Bag at Valentine rather holding on yeah. tenaciously. Finally, Bagwell with enough strength to kick him off. Trying to make the tag. Big Josh there ready for the tag, but Valentine pulls Bagwell back to the Valentine Slater part of the ring. Well, he needs to keep just doing just what he's doing now, Jim, and that's fighting. Trying to keep him away from that leg. Spinning leg lock there. Applied by Slater. Valentine. And the Bagwell rather trying to kick out. And oh, does. That's good. My ball mark is to go, baby. Near the corner, about to make the tag. And here comes Valentine across the ring with a cheap shot to prevent the tag there. Now the referee's got his hands full. Big Josh, he's got to put him back outside. As you can see, Jim, they know the in and outs of the ring. You know, they, the timing is almost impeccable. Bagwell trying to fight back with all he's got, but again, he's taken back down. And again, Slater works on the leg of the youngster from Sprayberry High School in nearby Marietta, Georgia. Again, close to making the tag, but not close enough. And look at Slater pulling back, right back into that dangerous corner. And Slater and Valentine again make another tag. You have to be impressed with the teamwork of Dick Slater and Greg Valentine in this opening contest on WCW Saturday night. And another tag. Well, Marcus needs to dig deep down in the side of himself now and pull that second win and fight his way back over into the corner and tag Josh. At the fourth quarter of the uh, Florida State Florida game here, Ron. Hey, you got to reach down and get something special, something extra. Close to making the tag. Come on, Marcus. Oh. Big Josh Come on, this time. He can't be restrained this time. And he nails Valentine, but in the meantime, watch this double team. A double suplex. The kid landed right on his head and shoulder. As you can see, sometimes they just ignore the rules and they'll do anything it takes to win, you know? The referee had his back turned, putting Josh out, and they take advantage of him. Slater's got him set up with a pile driver. Slater caught him with a pile driver. That should be all. Big Josh in. But that's it. Too much experience, too much ring savvy. And ladies and gentlemen, Ron Simmons and I'll be back with more on WCW Saturday Night. The Steiner Brothers are next on TV.